Raoult's law is dealing with the vapor pressure of solutions. So we have two versions, one for a non-volatile solute, one for a volatile solute. So we're going to start with a non-volatile solute. So the vapor pressure of the solution is going to be equal to the vapor pressure of the pure solvent times the mole fraction of the pure solvent. So the vapor pressure of a component is directly proportional to its mole fraction. Mole fraction always between zero and one, so the vapor pressure of the solution is always going to be less than the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. So let's do a problem like this. We have uh, 60 grams of sucrose and 450 grams of water at 25 degrees Celsius. We're told that the vapor pressure of pure water is 23.8 torr at 25 degrees Celsius. And we are asked what the vapor pressure of the solution is. So we have our pure solvent, we need our mole fraction. So we take our sucrose, divide by the molar mass to get moles, 0.333 moles of sucrose. Take the mass of water, divide by its molar mass, and we get 24.972 moles of water. We add the two together to get 25.305 moles total. So our mole fractions for water, take the moles of water, divide by the total moles, and that's a 0.987. So we're looking at, we want the mole fraction that corresponds to the volatile component, so the solvent. So now we have our mole fraction, we put it into the Raoult's law equation. So 0.987 for the mole fraction times 23.8 torr for the pure water, and we get 23.5 torr. So it's not a significant change but it's a measurable change. So let's look at uh, a volatile solute. So with a, a single volatile solute, so we have a solute and a solvent, so two components. Each component is creating its own uh, partial pressure based on uh, the initial Raoult's law. So mole fraction times its pure vapor pressure for the solvent, mole fraction times the pure vapor pressure for the solute. So our problem here, we have 100 grams of ethanol, C2H5OH, in 100 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius, we're given our pure vapor pressure of ethanol, 44.6 torr, pure pressure of water, 17.5 torr. You see it's a little different from the one last problem. That last problem was at 25 Celsius, so our vapor pressures are temperature dependent. Vapor pressures will increase as we increase our temperatures. In this case, we're asking for vapor pressure of the solution, vapor pressure partial pressure of the ethanol, partial pressure of the water. So we can ask for either one of these in our homework or test questions. So we're going to need our mole fraction. So we convert the ethanol, 100 grams of ethanol, divided by its molecular weight to get moles of ethanol, 2.17 moles. 100 grams of water divided by its molecular weight to get 5.5 .5 moles of water. We add the two together to get 7.72 .72 moles total. So for ethanol, the 2.17 moles divided by the total 7.72 gives us a mole fraction of 0.281. For water, it's the 5.5 .5 moles divided by total 7.72 gives us a mole fraction of 0.719. And when we add the two mole fractions up, our sum is one. And this is how it should be. So all mole fractions should add up to one for a mixture. So each term here is the partial pressure of the gases, and they will add up to the total pressure. So for our system here, we have our water, uh, pure water at 17.5, pure um, ethanol at 44.6, and this equation is drawing a straight line between the two. 
assess each vapor pressure added together. So the partial vapor pressures will be the individual components. So for ethanol, this is mole fraction times pure vapor pressure. So uh, 0.281 mole fraction times 44.6, and this vapor pressure is 12.5. So we could ask for something like this, just the partial pressure of our ethanol. For water, we take this mole fraction, 0.719 times 17.5, and we get a partial pressure of 12.7. And again, this is one that we can ask for. For the total solution, we're adding the two together. So as in the equation, it's the mole fraction times partial pressure plus mole fraction times partial pressure. So we have those two numbers, 12.5, 12.7. We add them together, 25.2 torr. So that's our total solution. These are the individual partial pressures. And to follow this line would be a ideal solution. Uh, the closer the two compounds are in terms of intermolecular forces, the closer they are to ideal. Uh, if they have a heat component, when we mix them together, they get hot or cold, then there's a, going to be some change off of ideal. For this particular combination of ethanol and water, it's uh, not ideal, especially up near the uh, pure ethanol range. So we end up with a, a little high peak here on the, the total vapor pressure. So if we distill this, we can't get pure ethanol coming off of it. Our distillation will isolate this component, which is about 95% uh, ethanol and 5% water. 